Anastasia Anastiel, who is 21 years old, is studying English literature at the Washington State University's branch campus in Vancouver, Washington. Her closest friend, Catherine Kate Cavanaugh, is a writer for the University News. Due to an illness, Kate cannot interview Christian Gray, a wealthy and successful businessman from Seattle. Taking Kate's place, Ama finds the 27-year-old Christian both attractive and intimidating. She stumbles through the interview and believes it went poorly. See you soon. Mother, not expecting to meet Christian again, is surprised when he appears at the hardware store where she works and purchases various items. When Anna mentions that Kate would like a photo for her article, Christian offers to arrange a photo session. The next day, Anna, along with Kate and their photographer friend, Jose Rodriguez, arrive at Christian's hotel for the photo shoot. Later, Christian asks Anael for coffee. When he questions if she has a partner, Anna responds that she is not in a relationship. After claiming he is not romantic, Christian abruptly ends the date, leaving Anna to believe she is not attractive enough for him. Later on, Christian sends Anna a first edition copy of Tess of the D'Urberville. That night, Anna goes out with her friends and ends up drunk dialing Christian, who says he is coming to pick her up. When Anna goes outside for some fresh air, Jose attempts to kiss her but is stopped by Christian's arrival. Anna departs with Christian, but not before she finds out that Kate has been flirting with Christian's brother, Elliot. Ama awakens to find herself in Christian's hotel room. He assures her nothing happened, but scolds her for her reckless behavior. Christian desires a sexual relationship with Anna, but she needs to fill out some documents first. He retracts this statement later to kiss her in the elevator. Christian takes Anna to Seattle in his helicopter. At his luxury apartment, Christian has Anna sign an agreement of confidentiality, commonly referred to as an NDA, about their shared experiences. He also mentions other paperwork, but first takes her to his playroom filled with BDSM objects and gear. Christian tells her that the second contract will concern dominance and submission, and there will be no romantic relationship, only a sexual one. The contract even forbids Anna from touching Christian or making eye contact with him. At this point, Christian realizes that Anna is a virgin. Not wanting her first sexual experience to be a BDSM experience, he has conventional sex with her and sleeps in her bed. The following morning, Christian's adoptive mother Grace arrives and is surprised to meet Anna, having never seen her son with a woman. Christian lost his virginity at the age of 15 to a friend of his mother's, Elena Lane, and his previous BDSM relationships failed due to incompatibility. In his first BDSM relationship, he was the one who submitted. Christian and Anna make plans to see each other again, and he escorts Anna back to her home, where she finds multiple job offers waiting for her. Over the coming days, Anna gets a lot of parcels from Christian. This includes a laptop to replace her broken one and research the BDSM lifestyle and consideration of the contract, which they discuss. Anna becomes overwhelmed by the potential BDSM arrangement and having a non-romantic sexual relationship. Anna leaves and does not see Christian again until her college graduation, where he is the keynote speaker. During this period, Anna consents to sign the contract. She and Christian meet to discuss it and go over Anna's hard and soft limits. Christian spanks Anna for the first time, and the experience leaves her both enticed and slightly confused. This confusion is exacerbated by Christian's lavish gifts and the fact that he brings her to meet his family. The two continue with the arrangement without Anna having yet signed the contract. After securing a position at Seattle Independent Publishing, also known as SIP, Anna becomes more uncomfortable with the restrictions of the Non-Disclosure Agreement, or NDA, and her complicated relationship with Christian. The tension between Anna and Christian comes to a head after Anna asks Christian to punish her in order to show her how extreme a BDSM relationship could be. Christian agrees to her request, punishing her with a belt. Realizing they are incompatible, a devastated Anna breaks up with Christian and returns to the apartment she shares with Kate. 